Ooh, a record. Food increases your max stamina for more time. One of one. Notice typo of the month. Let's get let's get them all. Typo of the month. Learn which words end in dash ible versus dash able. If you are not sure, look them up. This is an unacceptable error. Remember to all copy editors. Please note that if a reporter has written Joe's wife Clara, you must fact check whether Clara is Joe's only wife. If she is, there should not be a comma between the words wife and Clara. If she is his second wife, however, you should use the comma. I find it hard to believe that professionals do not already know this. Jane. Underneath, someone has handwritten Bass Ass Bass Ackwards. Is that a real grammatical rule? Sounds like bullshit, or at least pointless. John's promotion. Everyone, please congratulate John on his promotion from assistant to the deputy copy chief to assistant deputy copy chief. So, instead of assistant to the deputy copy chief, they're now assistant deputy copy chief. Congrats! Hastings. Old place hasn't changed at all, has it? Where did you go? When you disappeared for two weeks? Did you ever remember? I must have had too lovely a time. <laughs> I was hoping you could use a reporter. I'm afraid I've got a half dozen of them. Bloody useless, the lot of them. I've got six pieces on my desk, all about the new flavour of joy. Can you imagine? It's coconut. Didn't Dr. Vlock make that announcement some time ago? Gemma wanted to do a piece on him. I hope she hasn't fallen in a hole somewhere. I haven't seen her in days. It's bloody frustrating, too. There's all sorts of silly rumours about the tunnels under Wellington Wells. Gas leaks, water main breaks, maintenance workers at the pub instead of their posts. If that were all true, Wellington Wells would be about to fall apart. I asked her to do a story about it. Oh, well, um, I'm sure she'll turn up and everything will be peachy. I'm sure it will. Lovely to see you, Arthur. Drop by any time, really. Gemma was always digging up interesting stuff, from what I remember. Maybe I should poke around her desk. Yeah. Her desk is down, but I want to know what's up. Duels over the Oxford comma will not be tolerated. <laughs> scotch, they're keeping scotch in their desk at work. James Greenwood, assistant to deputy copy chief. I guess the thing on their desk hasn't been changed yet. Must be a very new promotion they've gotten. What do these buttons do? That is so cool. I just want to play with them and flip them and press them and twist them. What the hell is that doing there? Somebody's secret stash of human meat, I think. Shortcut. Should drop in on Gemma at home. 
If she's really vanished, then maybe I can get my old job back. Uh, oh, hold on. There's some notes here. September 23rd. Artistic hobbies. I think it would be fun to have a piece about the artistic hobbies of workers underground. You know, the tunnel rats and such. Oh, and there was some sort of art show. Have a look, would you? On a side note, I overheard a chap in a boiler suit say they've been having motilene leaks down there. I'm sure it's just... it's just whinging, right? Door first, I'm still waiting for your piece about the tunnel rats. I know what you're like when you're excited. Did you find something interesting underground? Very naughty to keep secrets from headmistress. October 9th. You've been gone for more than a week. What's going on? I looked through your desk, but perhaps you've got all your notes at home? I sort of fear you might have delved too... too cleverly and too deep. Please tell me you're alright. So where is their house? Up here. That's coming from Gemma's house. That's a bit awkward. Why is the alarm sounding? I'm Whoa. That way. Look at that though, Gemma was on to something. Welcome to today's edition of Humor Hour. The show where you tell me jokes. Well actually I tell the jokes and you send them in. Hey? <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh. That was somebody up to no good just escaping. I guess someone noticed she's not been around and decided to rob the place. I think I want to get that alarm off as soon as possible, just so it's quiet. Oh, hey, should I make some shoes? It's going to take a sewing kit, but I don't have any shoes right now at all. Let's make some trainers. Ooh. Aww. Kill the alarm. Sounds great. I just wonder if there's anybody still inside. I swear oh. by all that is holy, if I find one toy train in your swag bag, I'm gonna knock your last tooth down your throat! Gordo! Turn that fucking thing off and come back down here right now! If the alarm's upstairs, I'm gonna have to get past Mr. Shelter here. Oh, what the hell? Who the fuck are you? I live here. Love what you've done with the place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go non-lethal, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to craft. What the hell happened to you? Is it going to shock me, too? Hmm. Is there anything I can do from down here at all? I don't think so. No. So where's the no, person? I will not keep my voice down. I am a law-abiding citizen. I am not upset. I'm happy as a clam. You have no right to touch me. Doctors. I'm a reporter. You have no right to touch me. You know perfectly well I've taken my joy. You can't take me away. I'm not sick or unhappy. Help! Police! Help! Someone stop them! 
Where are they taking her? Why did they take her? She sounds quite sane. Did she know too much? About what? I wish I could just jump down there and save Gemma, but I guess I can't. Okay. Let's start from the bottom. Oh. Should we just take everything? I don't think Dr. V would like that. The constabulary might notice. I don't see anything talking about Dr. V here. Where's her study? I thought vampires had to be invited in. Downer! That ought to buy me some time. Open up in there! Well, I wish I looked at everything upstairs. Please tell me I can go back in and look at it after the fact? I still need to investigate Gemma's study. Requires disposable safe cracker. I don't have one? Oh no, I just need to press V to use it, I think. Sovereign's lockpick canteen, electroshock thingy, repair kit, vomit bomb. Nice. You know, I'm definitely not going non-lethal with these doctors. Howarth Labs, top secret. Memo number one. Darling, you said, I don't suppose you have a better idea. Here's my idea. Let me ask the witches. I know, I know, they're superstitious idiots, but they were always talking about psychoactive herbs, and they were actually rather clever women when all, uh, when my mom had them over. And they know every weed and stingy hallucinogenic frog on all the homes. And I've been racking my brain about the inventory problem. I don't think we're going to find any more caches of old German goodies. XOXOXOXO Sally. Added in Gemma's handwriting. June-ish 1961, I think. Sally Boyle's handwriting. Presumably to Dr. V. Memo number two. Beloved, please don't be cross. Just because they don't have university degrees in science doesn't mean they don't know any science. You've got to stop underestimating people who don't think the way you do. Are you sure you're not thinking about this emotionally? And I know how you hate that. St. John's wort does contain a serotonin reuptake inhibitor and it does make sad people less grumpy, for example. We could advertise the new compound as a different flavor of joy. Uh, strawberry, say. Wouldn't that sound jolly? Some people take to the new flavors, and our supplies could last a few years longer. Possibly till 1964. And by then, maybe the monkey will learn to talk. Just give it a ponder, please. For your... Sally, XOXOXO. Gemma's handwriting. July-ish, 61. Sally again. Memo number three. No, I don't care that you took credit for Strawberry. I don't care who gets credit, so long as people are happy. And I certainly was not trying to impress the general. No, I'm worried that you promised a permanent solution. Of course, you know far more about biochemistry than I do, but I've never heard of a drug that permanently alters brain chemistry. Is that even possible? Is there a mechanism? Can you just chemically burn out all the sad receptors in the brain? The only permanent solutions I know involve electroshock or surgery, and then we're back to phrenology. I think I read people a little better than you do, darling. The general is all very affable, but we've now promised him results, and we all know what happened to the last guy who didn't deliver him results, you know? Please tell me what's on your mind, would you? Sal. So, years ago, Sally worked with Dr. Verloc? Vorloc? I don't think there's really much of a surprise. No, I think we already knew that. But I think they've changed a lot in the past couple of years since they've gone off of their joy. I think they've realized more about what's going on. So yeah, they've been having inventory problems running out of whatever stuff they use to make joy. I guess it sounds um, St. John's Wort does contain a serotonin reuptake inhibitor. Maybe that's at least part of what's in joy. Certainly that alone would not make people joyful the way they are. <laughs> I don't know, unless they're completely overdosing on it, maybe it would. I have no idea. 
But yeah, apparently they were running off of caches that the Germans left to make all their joy. And I guess they were running out of even that. Trying to create alternative mixtures. That's probably what's made people suddenly react really poorly to a lot of joy. Because the formula's changed. They've had to start experimenting. Locked. Investigate study. Oh, this is the study, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so I didn't need to look at anything upstairs. Good. I guess I probably didn't miss anything too important then. Oh, Just, come on. Uh, watching the day go by. I see those bobby pins. I can't pick them up, though. Electrocutions. Toxic fog. If I read it top to bottom, then right to left. If I finished Gemma's investigations, Mrs. Oliphant would have to give me back my old job, and then I'd have a press pass. Scribbled note about missing staff. St. Elmo, Elect Elmo Electrical Unit. Two employees haven't come topside, behaving erratically. Art project? Gas leaks, parts, no maintenance, human error. Someone who has a permanent solution to the joy problem says Miss Snug, but won't say who. There's a joy problem? Permanent solution doesn't sound ominous at all. Miss Snug, what a name. Come out! We're friends of Gemma! Look at that. You've been a busy girl, haven't you, Gemma? She needs our help. Best get home before curfew. I think I've found everything. Doesn't look like she found all the answers yet. Oh, it's night time now. Well, I guess I'd better go see what's going on on this motelin regulation unit. Whoa. I don't know how they seemingly magically found me, but anyway. Maybe the answer's there. <laughs> Damn. Remember my extra 100% damage when I'm charged up? Porter's Notebook. Mysteries of the Joy Factory. Sunshine. S, that must be Sally, claims Verloc invented sunshine for himself. Why? How can he be clear-headed and not haunted by the past? Anyone with any human feelings. Sunshine rumored not to be a contraceptive like Joy. Joy's a contraceptive? What happens if someone has a baby? Oh god, too awful. Just because kids would remind them of kids? Is that why having a baby would be awful? Plague. Toxic waste dumped in water, carried by fog. Outbreaks correlate to wind direction from Joy Factory. Permanent solution. Verloc's plan, so secret even S doesn't know what it is. Irreversible. Mass lobotomy. Find a way inside Howarth Labs undercover. Pose as a patient in Verloc's new studies. The Reform Club rules. Have you been naughty? Need a bit of correction? Please be our guest at the Reform Club and have a shocking good time. Invitation admits one.
personalized care from the desk of Dr. Anton Verloc. Dear Mr. Slash Mrs. Something, so this is like a blank note, a form letter. Thank you for your recent letter. The symptoms you dis descript, describe, anxiety, guilt, and hunger are all signs of joy withdrawal. I assure you that your troubles are all in your head, even though they may feel very real to you. We've read the other side of this letter when it was addressed to somebody. So this is just a generic letter they send to anybody who's like, yeah, I'm not feeling well. Scribbled in red pen, but do they ever come back? Any doctor can arrange your passage to our facility. So those become the test subjects, probably. Rubber cat suit, the tickler. Okay, so they like the reform club. No. Well, that feels entirely too good. Seeing the body electric. Is that the main quest or is that something else? Mrs. Oliphant said she sent Gemma to ask the workers about their art projects, but I have a sneaking suspicion something's gone wrong there. Go to the work site. Oh, we have 10 scale points too. Damn. I guess look at the blockbuster thing now. Nice name, by the way. Blockbuster. Yeah, 25% chance to break enemy weapons when blocking. Down here. Let's go to the work site. You will take your joy immediately. What's going on back here? Hey! Where do you think you're going? This is a municipal work site. And you're not a municipal worker, are you? Huh? So clear off. Return in boiler suit. Yeah, I can do that. Central sent me to help out. Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central. I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad! Oh, this seems fairly obvious. Don't you just turn that? Turn the valve. Don't! Never heard it do that before. Oh dear. I, uh, there's a tool I need. I'll, I'll just go get it. What did he do to it? Has anybody got a pipe wrench? <laughs> Ow. I should really have paid more attention when Dad was banging on the plumbing. I hope they're not dead. They're not. They're not. They're just unconscious. Worker sewer latch on the key. other hand, it looks like I can get down now. October is Fire Safety Month. <laughs> I feel like I should have my light out.
reward. Victory meat. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. How is that on the elevator? I need to find a way to turn the juice back on. Blackberry to Dr. Verloc from Alfred Southwick's supervisor. Urgent joy request, Dr. Verloc. Uh, my men seem to have received a weak batch of joy. Uh, that is, it makes them half as happy. Unfortunately, it makes them just as foggy. As a result, they've been doubling up on joy, and this is making them rather too foggy to work. Could you please send a regular strength ration of joy as soon as possible? Is Blackberry a possibility? And yet another note about bad joy. Jemma was really onto something, wasn't she? Jim Watt, to Jim Watt, Chief Engineer. Dear Mr. Watt, one of my workers has made an artwork out of live electrical wires. Although the boys are quite fond of it, it is creating a hazard. The tenor of our Tunnel Rats quartet was electrocuted this morning. We are not able to get past the sculpture to reach the rest of the facility safely. Could you kindly turn off the sector's power grid just long enough for me to remove the artwork? Redirected Motlin. Okay, that helped a little bit. Didn't put out the fire though. Science. Should I press the button? Sure. Oh. Endochronic properties. A second resublimation of the theomotling crystals might enhance the endochronic properties. If we were truly able to enable the endochronic properties, we could use the same crystals indefinitely. September 10th, 1964, to Alfred Southwick. We are all dismayed to learn of your Glee Club's misfortune. I'm enclosing two copies of Form A221, Unexpected Staff Holiday, which must be completed in triplicate, as well as one copy of Form FIN 753, Departmental Budget Adjustment Report. These should be filled in and returned within three days. So these are the motilene pipes. Ooh, listen to that noise. Is it coming from here? Yeah, that's that like old clicking of mechanical hard drives. I love that noise. It's so cool. That's the sound of data. Uh, now make sure there isn't a short circuit before. Yeah. Fucking apprentices. They never fucking listen. I see, said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. 